This is the transfer ship demonstration for Gravity Engine 4.0. Previous versions of Gravity Engine provided orbit transfers in a kind of piecemeal way. So there was this orbit samples folder down here in the uh, project directory. And there were kind of use case specific uh, scenes and underlying classes in order to perform the transfers. And you had to know which one you wanted, which one applied in your situation. In Gravity Engine 4.0, that gets a lot simpler. And what's happened is we have created a more generic facility, which can pretty much do any orbit to any orbit transfers. So we'll look at the uh, new scenes that use that. So we're in Gravity Engine, scenes, mini games, scenes, and we're in the folder in orbit transfers here. And we're going to start with transfer ship because it's the simplest example of the new component. And then there's a kind of more sophisticated uh, implementation. The controller's a little bit more complicated and allows you to preview the orbit transfers in advance and allows you to put the transfers at a future point in the orbit. That's this other scene, transfer ship with orbit point. We'll talk about that after we cover the basics in transfer ship. Let's go to the transfer ship scene and look in the hierarchy. And you can see in the scene view, we have a central body, we have a spaceship in an outer orbit, we have a station in an inner orbit. Uh, we have a very simple controller called transfer ship controller. And if you look at the spaceship, you'll notice there's now this new component transfer ship. And so what this allows us to do is pick a particular type of transfer and there are a number to choose from. So this is where it's all centralized into a kind of one-stop shop for orbit transfers. You can do Hohmann, either a direct transfer or rendezvous, and then you have four kinds of Lambert transfers. So a Lambert transfer in its general case basically says, how do I get from point A to point B in a specified time? And so there are a couple of variations. We can specify point B by an explicit point in three-dimensional space, by a phase location on a target orbit, uh, or we can do it in such a way that we want to intercept an object in a target orbit, in which case we just arrive at the same time, but we don't match that target orbit's velocity. Or we rendezvous, which is essentially the same as an intercept, but there's an additional maneuver to match the orbit at the time we arrive. Depending on which of the selections that is made here, the different other fields in the transfer ship component need to be filled in, either the target orbit and for certain Lambert transfers, the target phase, for rendezvous uh, or intercept, you need the target end body. If you're using Lambert point, you need to specify a target point. There's also a transfer time factor here, which is a relative number, and that's used in the Lambert time transfers to indicate the transfer time relative to the minimum energy transfer from point A to point B. So if you want to go faster, you make that a number less than one. If you want to go a little bit slower, you make that a number bigger than one. So in this case, we have our spaceship is in a circular orbit of eccentricity zero semi-parameter 40. Our target, whoops, our target is again in a circle with a semi-parameter, whoops, our target station is in an eccentricity zero semi-parameter 25 orbit. And so we can use a Hohmann transfer because we're going from a circular orbit to a circular orbit. Uh, in this case, they both have an inclination of zero, so it's a fairly simple case. The uh, underlying code used by transfer ship is a new general Hohmann transfer class called Hohmann General. And if we just briefly pop into the inspector and look at Hohmann General here. So this is now the only class you'll need to do Hohmann transfers. It will handle any from or to case with or without rendezvous. So different radii, different inclinations, different ascending nodes uh, will all be taken care of by this.
So now that we've selected the type of transfer we want by selecting home in here in the transfer component script, we do need a simple controller to trigger the transfer. So we have this transfer ship controller script attached, and this is a very simple script, which we'll take a look at here. Fits on one screen, and the update method is really just saying the first time X is pressed, do a transfer using the transfer ship component. There's an optional parameter to transfer ship, which is a callback that will be invoked when the final maneuver is completed. That's something we'll see used in the more sophisticated version of the transfer ship with orbit point. So we go back to this example and press play. Then all we need to do once the scene begins running is press X and it immediately does the home and transfer. And we can speed up time a little bit. And then the ship goes from the outer orbit to the inner orbit. If we wanted to make this a little bit more sophisticated, we could go back to the spaceship. We could say, let's make that a rendezvous. Let's make things a little bit more interesting. Let's give the station an inclination of 20 degrees. And now what will happen is there will be a need to adjust the phasing. Uh, so the spaceship in the outer orbit will delay where it begins its transfer. And because of the difference in inclination and the need to do the phasing, it may in fact add a phasing orbit that it goes around. Depends on the specific values of R and inclination and so forth. So now when we press play, We can see we have the orbits at different inclinations. We hit X, we fast forward a bit. And then there's a phasing orbit, it goes all the way around. Then it kicks into the actual orbit that will result in the rendezvous and we establish the rendezvous. If we wanted to do a more direct rendezvous, we could go back to the spaceship and we could say, let's do a Lambert rendezvous. Uh, and it will do this in the minimum, trans minimum energy transfer time for the two points we give it. And the destination point we give it is gonna be at a phase of, target phase of 90 degrees here. No, actually that's not right. The, location of the target plus the transfer time will be the point at which we try and get to. So here we press X and we from the outside get a fairly dramatically shorter path. We don't do any phasing and we've rendezvoused in a short period of time. So that's the transfer ship example. What we did just to summarize was on the spaceship we added a transfer ship component, we picked a transfer type, and we specified a target for the transfer where we're trying to get to. If we want to do something a little bit more sophisticated we can have a look at the transfer ship with orbit point. And this scene is overall fairly similar in that there's a spaceship and there's a station there is a much more sophisticated controller, transfer scene controller, which also has uh, this new component display maneuvers, which allows us to take a series of maneuvers, in this case, the maneuvers that the transfer ship calculates and render them in the scene prior to them occurring. So you can kind of look into the future and see what kind of transfer is going to happen from uh, the user input. Since we want to take advantage of the orbit point capability that's also added in Gravity Engine 4.0, we've added two ghost objects. So there's a spaceship at orbit point, which is a ghost for the spaceship. So it'll represent the spaceship at a future point in the orbit. And there's a station at orbit point, which will rotate, which will represent the station at a future point in the orbit. And so there are now a, a bunch of possibilities here. So we want to have user input. If you look at this orbit point, you can see that we have set the mode to be phase from mouse so that we can interactively control where in the future we're going to do this orbit transfer. 
and depending on what we pick, we'll, uh, we may or may not be able to adjust the destination. If we pick, for example, a target point, so say, for example, Lambert point, then the controller in Transfer Scene Controller will take the mouse click and decide which orbit point it is closest to and then move that one. So if we wanted to do a transfer to a particular point in an orbit, we can do that. So let's just push play here with the Lambert point selected and that'll become a little clearer. So this controller, we press M to begin a maneuver. It automatically puts the future spaceship a little bit ahead of the trajectory of the spaceship. We can click on that and we can move where we want the transfer to start. And since we picked Lambert point, we can pick where we want the destination spaceship or where we want the destination point for the transfer to be. And then if we want to control the time of the transfer, we can use the W and the S keys to adjust the time of flight factor. So pressing W gets us there faster, so the orbit becomes a little bit flatter, more eccentric. If we want to get there a little bit slower, then we can loop around outside. And then to execute the transfer, we can press X. We can see the path that's going to be taken until we get there. We clear it down once the first maneuver goes through, speed things up a little bit, and around we go to the point w w that we selected. There's uh, a discussion of some of the details of how this scene works if you go down to this web documentation link here. And all of the other options that would occur on transfer ship uh, can be selected here. So notice that the transfer ship component here is attached to the ghost ship and not to the primary spaceship. And essentially what's happening when you hit maneuver is we put these ghost ships in the scene and then the transfer ship uh, computes the orbit transfer based on what's selected here and uh, some orbit predictors in the display maneuver components here are these maneuver markers which are in currently inactive until maneuver is pressed uh, are then instantiated and those orbit predictors are used to show each of the maneuvers. So let's change this to for example a home and rendezvous case and so if we press play type M for maneuver. So it's showing you the location of the maneuvers. And if you come back close enough to the current location of the spaceship, you actually get to a point where you can begin the maneuver quite quickly because you're near the phasing point that's required. If you move beyond that, it changes and you have to wait until you get to the far side of the orbit. You can also see that there's going to be an outer phasing, a phasing orbit and then an orbit that uh, rendezvous. So we can go ahead and press X, speed things up a bit. So around the phasing orbit we go, in this case we go around the phasing orbit twice and then we link up with the final destination. That completes the overview of the new transfer ship component. It should allow you to get orbital transfers into your space game much, much faster than the previous versions of Gravity Engine. Thanks for your time.